The Gigafactory is open and Tesla Motors is nearly ready to begin production on the lithium-ion batteries that it hopes will power the next generation of electric cars. Tesla Motors' Elon Musk opened the doors to the Gigafactory, a $5 billion project with the capacity to double the world's production of lithium-ion batteries and maybe even fuel the CEO's increasingly ambitious goals. Construction is not finished, but the factory is ready to begin low levels of production. So in this video, we're going to tell you about Tesla's Gigafactory inside Elon Musk's $5 billion Gigafactory. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick till the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Gigafactory New Berlin is the most advanced, well-developed and high-volume electric vehicle production plant in the world. The company says it will commence its production with the Model Y, a fully electric mid-size SUV, and once the early extension phase is complete, then the factory will produce 500,000 cars per year for the European market. Bidding to Tesla's plan, the factory also aims to invest up to 4 billion euros in the project, as been reported by the media. Tesla plans to make new 4,680 cells measuring 80 by 46 mm, hence the name 4680 cells with a higher energy density at the Berlin plant. It's also been said that Giga Berlin would be the largest battery factory with the ability to pop out 100 gigawatt hours per year. To make you understand more clearly, one gigawatt has the potential to power up to 300,000 houses now. This is not a typical factory, it's an ongoing engineering improvement project," said J.B. Straubel, Tesla's chief technical officer, after the media's first look at the project going up in an industrial park outside Renault. Even as the first phases of construction were underway, product and manufacturing engineers working together found ways to shorten supply chains, pack more machinery into smaller areas, and speed assembly processes that would increase volumes and drive down the costs of battery cell production," he said. Environmental Friendly In September 2020, Elon Musk had told the Berlin's Gigafactory would be the most environmentally friendly factory in the world. They're achieving this by recycling things as much as possible. Tesla also targets to become self-reliant and independent by using sustainable energies like solar, wind, and geothermal energy. Later, they are aiming to use excess heat from the machine and ovens in the winter months to heat the factory, which will reduce cost and emission. Automated machines do the hard work inside the factory, while workers perform tasks that cannot be undertaken by machines. Both work in harmony to ensure flawless work and production, Yoshi Yamada, a top executive with Japan's Panasonic, which supplies the lithium-ion cells used in Tesla's Model S and Model X, had his doubts. I thought it was a crazy idea, said Yamada, whose company nonetheless agreed to foot $1.6 billion of the cost. But I was crazy, I was wrong, he said. What changed his mind were the nearly 400,000 reservations Tesla has received for its next vehicle, the $35,000 Model 3 sedan. Tesla's Massive Plans for the Factory The Tesla Berlin car plant's primary manufacturing areas include the press shop, foundry, body shop, paint shop, powertrain manufacturing, seat manufacturing, and final assembly. A factory plan shared shows footings for eight die-cast machines, including holding tanks, quenching tanks, and melting furnaces that will be used to make eight Model Y castings at a time. The California-based company says it will launch production with the Model Y, a fully electric mid-size SUV, once the initial expansion phase is complete. Musk said that the Gigafactory is on track to produce its first battery cells within about nine months, and he's highly confident that by 2020, Tesla will be able to produce cells for as little as $100 per kilowatt hour. From an analyst estimated $150 to $200 per kilowatt hour today. Lowering the cost of batteries is critical to Tesla's mission to shift society towards sustainable energy through affordable EVs and renewable energy storage. The factory is set to employ up to 12,000 people who will produce 500,000 cars per year for the European market. All German car makers combined made 428,000 electric vehicles in 2020 in the country. Fully battery electric and plug-in hybrids combined and exported 62% of them, 
the e-car pioneer long laughed at by German competitors is attacking Volkswagen and BMW head on their home market as a producer, employer engineer, wrote German Mobility Newsletter. This factory deserves more attention from creative problem solving and engineers that the product it makes. Musk will later tell in a Q&A, over time, the majority of our engineering will actually go into designing the factory as a product itself. If we take a creative engineering person and apply them to designing the factory, this machine that makes the machine, they make 5 to 10 times the headway per hour than if they're trying to improve the products it makes. Environmental Concerns Despite the benefit the factory has to offer, not everyone in Berlin is ready to welcome Tesla with open arms. And some locals are also protesting against the factory. Many observers had anticipated a conflict with Germany's strong metal workers union, which has more than 2 million members and has notified Tesla over its record of fighting unionization. Also, another issue that is concerning people is that the plant is located in a drinking water reservoir and locals are worried about the vast amount of water the Tesla plant will consume daily. Not to mention that groundwater levels have already been receding fast in the region following three consecutive hot and dry summers, it's not that the local supporters of the Gigafactory don't see the potential shortcomings of the plant and its predicted impact on the environment, but they're focusing on the bigger benefits for the environment that'll come from Tesla's e-mobility drive of getting away from the harmful combustion of the engine vehicle. The production of the Gigafactory will not be activated before the end of January 2022, and Tesla chief executive Elon Musk has also specifically approved the six-month delay. If you look at where batteries are being made, it's almost all in Asia, J.B. Straubel, Tesla's chief technical officer and co-founder, told the Wall Street Journal. That was one of the big opportunities we have here, is to close the logistics loop from where cells are made and materials are made and move it closer to where our vehicles are made. Located in the best place The factory is located in Brandenburg, which is the most prime location for Tesla as it has the highest production of green energy than anywhere in the country. Further, Tesla needs 12,000 people to operate at full capacity, and here in Berlin, there are more workers available as job options for young people are very few. Also, Brandenburg has a pretty well affordable living rate for the young shot workers who are willing to join the Tesla workforce from different German states. As we know, Tesla needs tens of thousands of employees to make the massive factory work. We have to be ready with cell and pack production well ahead of vehicle production, Straubel told the Wall Street Journal. We're accelerating our construction plans and accelerating our planned ramp-up of cell production. The Benefits of Working at Tesla Salaries of Tesla employees at Giga Berlin are extraordinary even for the entry-level, high-volume positions. It's also been revealed that the beginners would also be earning at least 2,700 euros per month. With that, the company has no issues in hiring people who don't have relevant experience in the field or were unemployed for a long time. As the CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk believes that there are too many MBAs in the corporate world and that he doesn't care if one has a degree or not because the man has practically taught himself rocket science. So his belief has always been in people's abilities rather than their degrees. He wants the company to be as convenient and suitable as possible for his workers so they can put all the effort into their perspective tasks for the smooth movement of this very company. One example could be of the two trains that have been prepared for the workers to allow them to reach at factory's doorstep every morning, making their transport easy and stress-free. Moreover, another facility for Tesla employees is that they have physical therapists around them in case of an emergency or strain, and they also guide them on how to prevent injury. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, stay safe, and we will be back with you with another YouTube video.